Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be looking at some of the silver in my backdrop and we're going to have a look at the effect that air has on toning and tarnishing your silver. Now a lot of these pieces that you can see on display here today have been sitting in my backdrop for at least five months now, probably more. I'll have to scroll back and have a little look and see exactly how long. But they've been sitting in my backdrop for at least five months and they haven't been being put away in capsules after filming. They've literally been left sitting here exposed to the air. So I thought it would be quite interesting to go through each piece and have a little look and see if the air has affected it or not. Because I know that some people say that it's very important to put your silver in capsules and store it away, away from as much air exposure as possible. But I just wanted to kind of go through and have a little look because if I look at some of these coins, it does look like the air has really tarnished them. But then some of the other coins don't look like they've had much effect from sitting out in the open at all. So I thought it'd be quite interesting. I've had a number of people message me since I set this backdrop up asking if I put the silver away after each video. And the reality is I don't. I leave the silver that you can see on display here out in the open. So let's get straight into the video. I've also got a mail call as well, very kindly sent from across the pond from the Asset Stacker. There will be a link to his channel in today's video description, so do stick around because we'll be doing this mail call at some point in today's video. But let's get straight into it. Now, we're going to start this way and we're going to work our way along. Now, this first piece here is probably one of the worst or best, depending on how you look at it affected coins and it's really interesting this is one of the newer pieces of silver that has been released by Scottsdale absolutely stunning round one of my favorite pieces that Scottsdale has produced really really nice it's actually quite strange that it flips from left to right as opposed from top to bottom but really really nice piece of silver and you can see that it's really come under the effect of toning. It's got some purples, some blues, some browns. It actually looks really, really interesting, really nice. But it's really strange to think this is one of the newer additions to my backdrop. And it is really, really tarnished. So let me know what you think about that. Do you like the, the kind of colours you get from when your silver is exposed to air? Or would you rather it be kept in a capsule and more shiny. I think it's quite interesting. I think it's a quite an interesting experiment to, to see how different coins are affected. Now moving along, again, one of my favorite coins, and you can see this one's quite tarnished around the edges. You can see down the bottom here as well. This side, not too much going on. I've got a couple of fingerprints that I've just rubbed off. You've got a little bit of browning going on around the, the rim of the coin. But there's not much going on on the queen's head or on the background here. Got, I suppose you've got a little bit here, haven't you, around here, like a little semicircle. But overall, it's not too heavily tarnished. The next one, now this isn't full silver. This is, I think this is 72% silver. And you can see this has actually got quite a few marks around it. Now this coin was never perfect in the first place. So you've got to take that into consideration. But it's looking really old now. It's not looking shiny anymore. It's got lots of markings around the edge. It doesn't look shiny at all. We've almost got like a matte finish now on this coin. But still... Really, really nice piece of silver. I really like how you've got the edge inscription around it. But yeah, again, you can really see the effects of the air on the coin. It's really taken away that, that shininess from the coin. Next, we've got one of the older Libertads, the Type 1 Libertads. Now, this is actually holding up really, really well. This is 3.9's fine silver. And this is actually holding up really nicely. Now, this was always more of a matte finish to start with anyway but in terms of like toning and 
the kind of browns and the purples and the blues that we've seen on some of those other coins. This just does not have it. So, yeah, really holding up nicely. Next, we have a Nura Libertad, a Type 2, if you like, Libertad. Let's see how this is bearing. Now, again, you've lost a little bit of the shininess. But you can't see any tarnishing, any toning. It definitely has lost a little bit of its shine. But then these coins do have more of a matte finish in the first place. So, again, nothing compared to this first one here. Look at that. It almost looks like you've put a tea bag on that one. Whereas this one, you can't really tell that it's been sitting in the air as much. So that's really interesting. It's really interesting to see how different coins are withstanding being sitting exposed to air. This one I showed the other day when I was testing my silver. This side looks pretty pristine. You've even got the mirror finish still going on around here. And when you flip it around, it has got a few marks here. But I think these are more fingerprint marks. Yeah, look, they just rub off like that. So again, this one's withstanding the air exposure really, really well, actually. Which is nice because I really like this coin. And if we compare it to the one ounce version... It's actually holding out a lot better. This one's got lots of brown around the bottom here on the victory. Whereas this one here just hasn't got that. So, yeah, again, really interesting. The same coins, just different sizes. They've both been exposed to air for a similar amount of time. We've got this GPS track around. This hasn't been exposed to air for much time at all. This is very, very new. This is my number one of 365. Stunning piece. It'll be interesting to see what happens to this over time. So I'm going to start to leave that in the backdrop of my videos as well. Moving on, let's have a little look at these bars. Lost a little bit of a shine. That had more of a shiny finish on it before. So it has started to, to lose that shine a little bit. But look, that's still really shiny on that side. And that could just be down to me picking this bar up and playing around with it, as opposed to sitting in the air. But yeah, not much to report on these bars. I know if copper is not looked after correctly, it turns green and it gets quite a nasty looking colour to it. But yeah, they're looking okay still. We go over. Oh, there we go that back a little bit we head over here to this rack over here we've got a one ounce bar here again nothing really to report back on this one the edges are all okay always had a few kind of marks on this bar in the first place but yeah no kind of browning or tarnishing on that one next we have an antiqued coin this is what tsc got me for one of my birthdays i think it was last year's birthday I think with the antique coins, you're not really going to see the tarnishing. I think the antique finish is going to hold back that that brown and those blues and those purples that you see. Still looking really, really nice. Got a maple. You can see a little bit of tarnishing above the leaf there. A little bit on the surface down here. But again, nothing major definitely not changing the color of the silver like we've seen on some of the other coins Here we go down here we've got a buffalo not much to report on that either still looks pretty pristine all of these coins are going to have fingerprints on and things like that because these are the coins that i play around with on my channel this was sent to me very kindly from send to georgie Really, really nice. I recently saw APM unpackage the same coin. Absolutely stunning piece. It's really got like a proof finish to it. And again, this one is holding out very, very nicely against the elements. We've got a reserve round here from Scottsdale Mint. Now you can see there's quite a lot of milk spotting appearing on this coin. 
can't remember this coin having that amount of blemishes on it when I first showcased it. But again, you can't see any tarnishing or toning going on. It's just lost a little bit of its shine. Moving down, we have an American Silver Eagle. Again, not much going on here. We've actually got a whole tube of eagles here. And these are the tube of eagles that I use in quite a lot of my videos, actually. So it'll be interesting to see if any of these are starting to tone. Because although these are kept in a tube some of the time, quite often they're left laying out on my desk. If I finish filming a video and they're laying on the desk, I don't always pick them up and put them away in the tube. But again, these are holding out really nicely. So it appears that if the coin has a, a matte finish or an antiqued finish, toning and tarnishing doesn't affect it as much as some of the, the shinier looking coins. But again, that rule doesn't fit all coins because like we just saw on this coin, which has a very proof-like finish, there isn't any tarnishing. So it's really interesting to see how different coins hold up over time got a few milk spots on there don't know if they're milk spots or it's just where it's starting to get a little bit tarnished but yeah as a rule of thumb these are still looking okay they look a bit scratched a little bit chipped but these are my stunt coins if you like the coins that i pick up in videos and i throw around i've got many tubes of eagles that are in monster boxes and in full tubes that are still sealed and that's not how I'd handle those coins but these coins are basically picked up for videos they're all different year coins that I picked up over time and yeah as a, a rule of thumb again these are holding up really really nicely no browns no blues no purples now what we're going to check as well we're going to check the coin that I put in the toning pouch made by Cider Sound Man by Cardus Leather Goods. It's actually really cool because I've got a stack of social version of this as well. Where did I put it? Down here. I've just realised that on this one I've got the Cardus Leather Goods logo on the button, whereas this one's just a plain button. So that's really interesting. But yeah, really, really stunning pieces. I need to put a coin in this one. So we'll have to work out what coin we're going to put in this one to see how it tones. But today we're going to check out the coin in here. Now I believe I put an old circulated coin in there. Let's have a look at that. Now it hasn't really done too much to the coin. Maybe because it's a circulated coin and it's already... A little bit tarnished it hasn't really done too much let's compare it to one that hasn't been in the pouch oh no that's not the right one that's a two pound coin where are we there we go let's compare the two no so there's not much difference so it appears that if you have a circulated coin especially an older one they're already fairly tarnished and and also they're not full 999 silver so let's try a different coin in here and i'm going to go for the buffalo let's see how this holds up in leather because i've actually put maples in leather before and they tone really really nicely but i haven't tried an american silver eagle before so we'll pop that in there and we'll have a little look back in a, a few weeks time see how that's holding up but let's continue on with the coins in the backdrop of my videos i've got this one here this never had a fully proof finish it always had these scuffs on it but again holding up very very nicely no tarnishing so it just goes to show that it's not always really really essential to quickly get your coins away from the air like we're made out to believe you can actually have them just sitting around and they do hold up very very well this is a 
silver maple. I think I might have already shown this one. I think we did this one already. But the last coin on the stack is a kangaroo, one of my least favourite coins. It's just not a massive fan of these. There's not really much going on that excites me. The text is quite hard to read. They do tend to get quite milky in the back as well. And I think the kangaroo is quite hard to see as well. It doesn't really pop. It kind of just blends in with all the lines. But yeah, this one's got a few little marks, if you look carefully. Little toning marks coming through. But like I said, overall, I think if we're going to kind of generalise, it doesn't seem to really affect silver as much as we're made out to believe. We're made out to believe that when we buy our silver coins, you have to very quickly put them into airtights, put them away in airtight containers and not leave them out exposed to the elements and, and all that sort of thing. But I've just seen this bar up here. Scottsdale Mint Bar. But you can see these, like I said, these coins of bars have been sitting around for at least five months, probably longer. I'm not too sure how long they've been sitting around in this backdrop, but at least five months. And apart from this coin here and some of these coins sitting on the stands, the rest of them are holding up pretty, pretty well. So, yeah, really interesting. Let me know what you think about that in today's comments section. Did you think that by now a lot of this silver would have been ruined and tarnished and toned and not looking shiny anymore? Or did you expect today's results? Before I forget, we're going to get into the mail call. Thank you very much to Asset Stacker for sending me this. I will leave a link, like I said, to his channel in today's video description. He is based, I believe, in the US. Very kind of him to ship me something all the way to the UK. You can see it cost him $20 to ship this across to me so it costs a lot of money when you're shipping things abroad so very very generous of him to to send me a mail call wow look at that poker chip that looks amazing i've seen these on other people's channels and they look really really nice i really like the simplicity of this logo it really pops look at that really really nice looking piece the asset stacker 2024 Limited edition, 100 chips. That's pretty cool. I think that's the first time I've seen a mintage figure on a poker chip. So that's really nice. I'm one of 100 of these poker chips. So really, really cool. Thank you, Asset Stacker. I appreciate you taking the time to send me one. Got a little letter here as well. Certificate of Authenticity. Limited edition. This certificate guarantees that it's an authentic and strictly limited edition production of the Asset Stacker. YouTube channel Poker Chip. 2024 limited edition 100 chips certificate 37 of 100. Wow, what a nice touch. Wow, that is really cool. What a nice touch. I don't think I've ever seen someone send a poker chip out with its own COA before. So that is really, really creative. Really great idea. Well done, the Asset Stacker. That is... Yeah, really, really impressive. I'm really impressed with that. So I've got number 37 of 100. What a great idea to actually only get a certain amount of these made and actually include certificates with them. Really creative, really impressive. So yeah, thank you very much. Gives it even more meaning behind it to know that there's a limited supply and I've been sent one. Got a very nice looking letter here. 365 Days of Silver, thanks for wanting to do a channel chip trade. Included with this letter, you will see my chip along with COA. I have changed my channel logo design, so this will be the only design with the original logo. You're receiving chip 37 of 100. I look forward to getting your chip. I'll do a mail call video when I receive your package. Please mail too. So if anyone wants to send anything to the Asset Stacker, there's his PO box there. If you decide to do a video open this mail, please let your audience know that they can reach out to me and do a trade as well. I enjoy sharing with the community. Keep stacking, my friends. So there we go. I don't even have to let you know because Asset Stacker has let you know himself. So yeah, do reach out and send him your chips, send him your stickers, and hopefully you might be lucky enough to get one of his original 100s. So yeah, really cool. I'm really impressed with that. What a, a nice idea. What a great thing to do to actually give it a COA. So yeah, we're going to wrap the video up there. Thank you very, very much for watching my video today. Thank you very much for all the support. I hope you found the video interesting. I thought it'd be quite nice to go through some of the silver that's been sitting around 
on my backdrop and just kind of show you how it's all holding up because I was quite impressed myself really when I looked at it the other day when I was moving things around in here and sorting things out and I was picking up different coins and shuffling them around and I thought hang on a minute these coins are actually holding up really well I was always made to believe that you had to quickly get them in air tights otherwise the air is really going to damage them and it just appears that that's not always the case and it does appear that each coin is slightly different in how quickly it tones and whether it tones at all. So yeah, like I said, we're going to wrap the video up there. Thank you very much for all the support. Thank you very much for everyone that's watched. And I hope you have a very nice day.